and a good morning from the Meyerhof Platz. Um, I'm here for a new walk, walk number 34, which should take me across the uh, Altberg, which is the third house mountain of Zurich. Actually, this is a very interesting uh, spot uh, because the Meyerhof Platz used to be the kind of epicenter uh, of a village which was specialized in, um, in growing, uh, growing wines. You see some old uh, buildings here in the environment. Um, it's a beautiful uh, day and I'm really looking forward to the tour. Thanks for walking uh, with me. the trip is, uh, is done. We climbed a small hill and uh, at the back you can see all the communal gardens. That's a combination of, um, of need arising um, you know, uh, from poor people in the city of, uh, of Zurich who wanted to grow their own uh, vegetables. Um, and also of course a combination of, uh, of a socialist um, uh, mayor at a certain moment in this town. Uh, it seems there are about 6,000 of these uh, small communal gardens uh, throughout Zurich and, uh, and according to my guide the number is, uh, is increasing.
are at uh, Glamorijk. It looks like uh, we're not the only ones. Um, it's uh, it's quite uh, quite busy here. Uh, a lot of people grilling and uh, and eating. Uh, but it's also a beautiful a beautiful day. So really enjoying this hike so far. Um, beautiful walk through the woods. Um, so far it's uh, only been rather uh, steep. So um, I hope uh, we'll go downhill uh, soon. It's uh, interesting, I'm currently on top of the Gubrist, which is a hill of uh, 609 uh, meters. Now I'm sure if you're not living in or near Zurich, um, the word Gubrist doesn't mean a lot. Um, however, it's one of the worst places uh, for traffic jams around uh, Zurich. So we stood here an untheated number of times. So it's, uh, it's good to stand uh, on top of it one time. Well, it's here quite a walk. We're going now up to the Alberg. Um, it's uh, quite, uh, quite hilly, quite steep. And I'm stayed on our way to the watchtower. Should be around seven, eight hundred meters now. But given the fact that it's a climb, it feels a lot more. So we have now reached the highlight or the, of the tour, which is the, uh, the Altberg. Um, really, uh, now it's a splendid tour so far. And now looking forward to, uh, to climb the watchtower. The watchtower is, uh, is right behind me. Uh, we should have beautiful views still because the weather is still uh, quite, uh, quite good. So um, let's, uh, let's basically not uh, waste any time and start uh, climbing the watchtower.
warmer weer. The, the warm weather disappeared a little bit. And it might be that the weather forecast we predicted rain uh, might have it right. I don't hope so. Uh, but probably a good idea to uh, start hurrying up a little bit. like the weather is turning now and so wind coming up and the pet path remains quite adventurous and this is the last stretch to weer and close approximately kilometers to go. So we are now at uh, Vorder uh, Hüttigerberg. Um, Quite literally, uh, it seems like we're, uh, we're out of the woods. Now up to the large uh, stretch to, uh, to Wurenloos. Should be 45 um, minutes. This was a beautiful uh, piece from the uh, Altberg to, um, to Vorderhutikerberg. Very nice, um, a little bit like it's, um, you know, on a kind of a mountain ridge or a hill ridge. Very, very nice, can, can highly recommend it. This looks like another beautiful piece of wood again on our way to Wurenklaus. So here I'm walking back through uh, Wurmloos, the last stretch, last 10-15 uh, minutes or so. I had a wonderful, wonderful trip. I can really recommend this uh, this route. Uh, you know, just the beginning is a little bit boring next to the ETH building, but for the rest, it's a fantastic, uh, fantastic trip. So, can highly recommend it. Hope to see you on the next one.